me show you how to be a good busy and change your predictions. That is kind of, I think, the canonical go-to package. Uh, whenever I need BART in sort of applied work, that's the one I tended to use. Uh, and then I'll also try a new implementation that's that's kicking around the package that we call uh, FlexBART for a more kind of flexible version of BART. So what I'm going to do is, uh, after I've defined this data, I will create a couple of containers to store, say, the out of sample root mean squared error uh, for both versions of both implementations, and also keep something for the timing. You know, BART is a relatively fast algorithm, but we'll we'll kind of see uh, how fast fast really is. So that this is all by way of uh, of getting set up. And one of the nice things about BART is that it, it, it almost works unreasonably well for what it is. It, 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 unlike a lot of machine learning methods, you really don't need to fine tune hyperparameters. Uh, we're doing regression, but we don't have to specify functional forms. Uh, and, and in reality, it is about as easy as, as arranging your x's, arranging your y's in sort of the right vector, putting your x's in a matrix or a data frame, and calling a BART function. So it's in some sense as easy as doing something like BART x, y. Let me show you how to be a good busy and change your predictions after.